welcome to the testing world in this session we are going to understand bug life cycle bug life cycle means from which point a bug is going to be started and at what point the bug is going to be terminated or maybe closed so whenever as a tester is finding a new bug we are reporting a bug and the status of the bug will be new so whenever a new bug is reported by the tester the status is new now it's a responsibility of either the QA lead or the dev lead to verify that it's a valid bug if the bug is valid bug is set to be open so either QA lead or dev lead are going to check the bug is valid or not if they find it's a valid bug they will set it open like that's a correct bug now dev lead will assign this bug to any developer so once a bug is assigned to any developer the status will move to the assigned so now bug is assigned to any developer at this point of time any developer is having this bug now developer will also check it's a valid bug or not so here we can have three conditions one is developer check that and developer is not able to replicate that bug developer is not accepting it as a bug so if developer is not satisfied and not accepting it as a bug developer will reject it so my bug will be rejected second condition is that if developer check that bug and developer are able to replicate that bug developer accept that bug for any reason developer is not able to fix that bug developer will set it to the deferred deferred means developer will fix that bug later on since developer is not fixing this bug as of now why he is not fixing this bug as of now he will provide his comment on the bug so after the assigned it could be three status one is rejected other is deferred third example i'm taking after the assigned developer is going to work on that bug developer is fixing that bug once the bug is fixed developer will set it to the fixed developer set status of the bug is fixed so now bug is fixed once the bug is fixed now tester responsibility is started as a tester i am checking the bug is fixed or not here we can have two options if the bug is not fixed it might be possible developer has fixed that but i am testing it again and i found still that bug is coming on the application we can set it reopen once we set the reopen development lead will again assign this bug to the developer and developer will again work on that bug second option is that developer fix that bug i am checking here bug is fixed or not and i found bug is fixed i'll set it verify like i have verified that and once i have verified QA lead will double check that bug is fixed or not. Yes, this bug is fixed means my QA lead will close this. So here we have seen all the states a bug can move before closing. Few intro questions we are going to face over here. So first question is, do you follow this bug life cycle in your organization, in your company? So this is the theoretical bug life cycle. If we talk about organization so organization is not going to follow these two steps means as a tester if i have reported a bug means nobody else is going to verify that's a valid bug or not this bug will directly assign to the developer also if developer fixed that bug and i have verified that bug is fixed successfully so rather than set it to the verify we can directly set it to the close means if the bug is fixed then i'll set it close my lead will not double check that so here we have seen these two stages are coming only when we are going for the theoretical bug life cycle in practical we are not going to follow these second interview question is what will you do if developer deferred your bug so if developer set my bug deferred what will you do in that case 
So if developer deferred my bug, then it's a development lead responsibility to check why developer deferred this bug, why developer is not fixing that bug. On this point of time, as a tester, I'm not going to work on this defect because this defect is accepted by the developer, but not fixed. He or she not fixing that bug, development lead should check why it is not fixed. As a QA, as a tester, it's not my responsibility. And third and the most important question, what will you do in case when developer rejected your bug? So if developer rejected my bug, what will you do? If the developer rejected my bug, first I'll check developer's comment. Why developer rejected my bug? I'll go to the developer's comment. And I see developer comments are valid. It was my mistake. After that, I will close it. Yes, I agree. I was wrong in that case. And developer point is valid. I'll close it. But I'm going to the developer comment and I'm not satisfied with that comment. Still, I feel that's a bug. In that case, I will reopen that bug. But while reopening, I will test that bug again. I'll try to replicate that bug again on my application. I will add new snapshot with the bug. I'll try to provide as much information as possible with this bug so that developer can understand that bug. So I will reopen that. Now, next interview question is that we have reopened a bug. Developer has rejected, but we have reopened. So now that bug is assigned to the developer again and developer rejected my bug again. So now second time my bug is rejected. Now what will you do as a tester? So if my bug is rejected again and you are not satisfied with the developer comments, you still feel this is a bug. I will call a meeting with the developer, development lead, test lead and manager and I'll show my bug to the, all these members. Now it's manager responsibility to decide it's a bug or not. In 95% cases, manager will take a call in your favor, in testing favor. Yes, it's a bug and they will call developer to fix that issue because it's a valid bug. But in any case, if my manager feels like it's not a bug and we should close that. So in that case, I will close that bug. I will close it but here the learning point is like I will never close a bug on the behalf of developers comment if we are not satisfied with the developer comment I will never close that bug on the developer comments so we, here we have seen theoretical bug life cycle then we have gone through the practical bug life cycle and few interview questions as well so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video